world leaders will dine out at the Eden Center tonight at the end of their first day of the International Summit. Local chef Emily Scott from the Watergate Bay Hotel has organized a lavish five-course meal for the occasion. Mr. Johnson and his international counterparts will be treated to a luxury dinner that includes spiced melon gazpacho, coconut and high note herbs as a starter, and a strawberry pavlova for dessert. But for the main course the Prime Minister appears to be rubbing his nose in his victory over the EU in Brexit negotiations. G7 leaders and their partners will be treated to turbot roasted on the bone and freshly caught off the Cornish coast by a fisherman from Newquay. Fishing rights was one of the biggest areas of contention in Brexit trade deal talks in 2020, with the issue causing negotiations to go down to the wire. World leaders will dine out at the Eden Center tonight at the end of their first day of the International Summit. Local chef Emily Scott from the Watergate Bay Hotel has organized a lavish five-course meal for the occasion. Mr. Johnson and his international counterparts will be treated to a luxury dinner that includes spiced melon gazpacho, coconut and high note herbs as a starter, and a strawberry pavlova for dessert. But for the main course the Prime Minister appears to be rubbing his nose in his victory over the EU in Brexit negotiations. G7 leaders and their partners will be treated to turbot roasted on the bone and freshly caught off the Cornish coast by a fisherman from Newquay. Fishing rights was one of the biggest areas of contention in Brexit trade deal talks in 2020, with the issue causing negotiations to go down to the wire. After months of wrestling over fishing rights and fears discussions were on the brink of collapse, a deal was struck on Christmas Eve, just seven days before the end of the EU transition period. The dinner tonight will be the first shared between Mr Johnson and an EU leader since his Brussels summit with Ursula von der Leyen in Brussels in December. Back then she too decided to serve up turbot for Mr Johnson and Lord Frost at the European Commission as discussions were held on finding a breakthrough in Brexit talks. The dish was at the time seen as a subtle dig at the UK and the impasse in negotiations. Tonight Mr Johnson will get the chance to return the favour, serving up the fish after Britain took back control of its waters. Much attention is often paid to the dinners dished up as international meetings and summits, with leaders often using the menus to woo leaders or make sly jibes. In the Brexit trade deal agreed last year, British fisheries are to be granted a larger share of quotas for catch in UK waters. Over the next five years share of stock British vessels can catch will increase by 25%. After that point, new negotiations with Brussels will take place with the UK free to remove all access to waters for EU fisheries if it so chooses. Fishing has continued to be a point of friction between London and the continent since the end of the transition period. EU vessels must now apply for licenses in order to fish in UK waters. France has furiously accused the government of being deliberately slow to issue the permits, causing havoc for local fishermen. British officials continue to insist they have issued permits to all those who have submitted the necessary paperwork. The issue is likely to be one of a number of talking points in bilateral meetings between Mr Johnson and EU leaders over the weekend. The Prime Minister will meet with Mr. Macon, Ms. von der Leyen and Germany's Angela Merkel all separately to discuss post-Brexit relations. Lord Frost is also in attendance at the G7 summit and is expected to be involved in the talks.